let's go to the board view to go to the board view first of all go to file and save all okay i have saved it in the form of untitled but you can save it in the form of a stable because this is an unstable vibrator because it goes flickers on and off on and off on and off now what to do to go to the board view come over in the top as you can see over here it says generate slash switch to board click on that option it asks do you want to create this schematic into a board view see the uh, unstable I mean, the untitled was the uh, option but you can select it as stable so yes and we got it right here so let me zoom it out see this is the components which we had in our schematic okay these were the components right here and we got it in our board view this is a board here we can just place the components anywhere so before moving forward let's go to grid okay let me show you this option which you see in the top left that's called a grid here it's 0.05 inches but i don't want in inches i want in millimeters so we can select a 0.25 or zero let me show you first with one one inch one one mm then select on i want to see it how it is then click ok you can see we got a grid right here but the one mm is still a big because i have tried it with the components if you don't want that hassle the select 0.25 click ok now you can see traffic the grid is vanished no not at all it is there but zoom it you can find the grid what happens if you do create a small grid is see when i select a component i can move on it very easily okay Le okay let me show you this see i can just place it straight if i want see this straight line so this happens only if the grid is small and the component is snapped to the grid okay you can see how it is like these all options these are all not needed so you can see how it is connected now let's bring all of the components to our board okay i want this connected to the corner always because we give it a power supply so once we give a power supply we need capacitors which were connected to this right because voltage fluctuations and this is connected right here okay let me connect this okay one second i want to connect it as straight as possible so that you know when you do wiring you guys won't have any problem this takes a bit time and experience to select you know how to place a component but once once you get that in hand it becomes really easy like how to place a component how to select it and all see let me uh, one second yeah i'm placing all the caps directly to about the you know the power supply because so just connect it right here this is our vreg the voltage regulator i'm gonna keep it in the corner right here i'm gonna end the pcb right over here okay in the small i'm gonna try making it small but for you guys to understand it i'm making it this big but i can still make it very small i can take it to the bottom layer and connect it and make it this small <laughs> like real small okay but for you guys okay let's keep the led okay let's keep the led right here it it look amazing in the corner okay that's the border now we have a resistor we have a resistor connected like the like here okay that is connected now we have another resistor but i want to connect it right here man why because i don't want to cluster it right here i want to connect it right here so let's keep it right here for now for now but if you see there are a lot of wires when we are connecting we can't connect all of these wires because it becomes a mess so here there is option called rat nest if you click on rat nest you just saw the magic happen see the wires are all gone our resistor is free now right resistor is free right here so if i want i can just place it right here okay and done voila but see there is a there is a capacitor connected so i don't want to you know interfere in that way but let me let me just place it right here no problem not at all a problem i'll i'll connect the wiring so not at all an issue for you guys now we have bought all of the components from schematic to the board view okay in the board view we have came up and placed them in a way that they are as compact as possible but they are even far right now in the next video let me again do the rightness yeah it's good in the next video i'm going to connect these like i'm do the i'm going to do the wiring connection okay inside the pcb for this so that i'm going to route them once we route them then 
we can see uh, how our PCB turns out. So, if you guys have liked this video, just give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss the next videos, which are really important. In the next video, we are going to do the routing and I'm going to show you the routing design rules and design checks, what all to be considered and how to, how to you know, modify them. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.